Um, hey YouTube, Mossy Mario 44 here, and today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to make a cool picture like this by using um, GIMP 2.6. So let's get to it. Um, hey YouTube, Mossy Mario 44, and if you like that clip that you just saw about that signature and want to make something similar to it, you can watching this tutorial. Please rate it, tell me if you like it or not, and if you have any questions, comment or appeal me. So, you go to GIMP, and I'm going to make the signature using GIMP. If you don't have GIMP, then just stop watching the video. And if you do want GIMP, you can just go to GIMP.org, I believe that's what it is. And then the download, no virus, don't worry about it. I have Nick of Freestyle Advisor. And, um, see, green, that means that it's perfectly fine. So then you go to file, oh, uh, I mean, new, you go to 400, the uh, width and the height is 100. Then you, then you get this, then, if you want to get a cool background, like in the signature that I showed you, you go to different clouds, you click randomize and make sure those two are at 4.0. Then you click colors, color balance, then you click highlights, you make one scion, you, you don't have to do this, but I'm doing this to make like a forest color because I'm making a link signature in this tutorial. But you guys can do whatever color you want. And so I click OK. Now, this is the part when you put your image in it. So make sure you got the image that you want. And I'm going to use an image. It probably doesn't support it, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's a PNG. It probably won't, but I'm going to show you guys how to make a, um, how to make an image, um, how to make an image transparent in the background so you don't have to have any trouble putting this. So, when you come up to here, it will do that sometimes. You just have to make sure you save it before you go up to there. Um, I have to do it several times. It sucks really bad and it makes me mad sometimes because sometimes I get really far on something. So let me um, get back to the toolbar and I'll show you what I usually do. Okay, so once you're at this point, um, before you add in the the um, clouds and stuff, sometimes you just want to go to File and just open the picture prior to it. It's, that's the smarter thing to do. So let me get the, the picture that I want. So there's the picture, it has a transparent background, so let me, um, start, let me put the clouds back for it, it only take me a second. Now this is just a beginner's guide, so experts, I mean if you, I'm not saying you're stupid if you're an expert and you're figuring this out, but you guys might not even have to watch the rest of this video. Okay, so... Um, the background, it has a checkered background. That stands for that it's transparent. So then when I paste it on here, it won't show any white. Like, it, do it does that in paint sometimes. But I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So, you, how to make it transparent. You want to go to, you're going to want to go to layer, transparency, click on add alpha channel, but I can't because I already have it on here. So you click on that. Then you're going to want to click on the star tool, click on here, and then press delete and then it will delete the colors and sometimes you might have to do it several times I'll show you an example like I'm showing my avatar guy it's, it still has some dots and stuff there because um, I'm still doing it sometimes it could take really long but if you have one basic color that's the best way to do it so once you get this you're going to want to right click edit cut and it should disappear out of the picture and that's how you know when you cut it then you're going to want to right click, edit, and then you want to go to click paste, and it comes up. You can move it around to whichever way you want. I like moving it, like, perfectly so you can kind of see his face, but you can see his cat. And that's pretty much it. That's, um, off in 44. I hope this tutorial helped. And, um, before I go, um, so once you're at this point, Right here, you can just go to File, and see that's what I'm saying. 
it stops working. The better thing to do, if you right click, you go to File and Save As. When you save it, oh yeah, and I forgot. When you're doing the transparent background, make sure that before you cut it, um, when you're finished, you go File, Save As, and you save it as a PNG file. If you save it as a JPEG, it will not save. I mean, it it won't save. Um, it so then when you open it back on GIMP and it's a JPEG, it simply just comes up and it um it comes up and it's not transparent. So make sure you save it as a PNG. When you open it on you paste you cut it, paste, open it, cut it out of the image, paste it. And then you save as, save it back as a JPEG, because most of the time, unless you have an, a special update or something, or you have a different thing in Windows Photo Gallery, you have to open it through, um, you have to open it, um, without Windows Photo Gallery because it does not support the PNG file. And I hope this video helped. Mafia 44 here, Mafia Productions, and I'm out.